Cool. Okay, so the next question that we have on the menu today is asking us how many quarts are in a gallon. Okay, so a quart is a measure of volume and a gallon is a larger measure of volume. So a quart, maybe that could be like, you know, a fairly decent sized like bottle of juice and a gallon that's like a uh, like a like a cooler full of juice like you know it's a uh, it's a quite a bit larger and well we know here that we have four quarts per one gallon okay so knowing this uh, knowing this conversion we can use this term this term can be used oops camera too big let me fix that real fast or aha okay this term can be used to um, change between quarts and gallons Okay, so suppose that we have um, x gallons. If we multiply x gallons by 4 quarts per 1 gallon, you can see that, um, you know, we can treat the gallons or we can treat these units pretty much like they're variables in math. And you can see if we multiply them together, um, the gallons here on on the upstairs of this cancels out with a gallon down here right because anything divided by itself has to be one so we can cancel them out so the result of this is just going to be four x quarts which makes perfect perfect sense right because if we know we have four quarts in every gallon um, let's say we have five gallons. We should expect four times five gallons. We should expect 20 quarts And that's exactly what our our um, equation shows um, This might seem like fairly straightforward, but this is like the type of um, Procedure that you definitely want to follow especially if you're going into like uh, chemistry or engineering uh, Cancellation of units is quite important important. Okay. Now. Let's say we want to go the other direction We want to convert quarts into gallons like I have 20 gal I have 20 quarts of soy sauce how many gallons of soy sauce do i have it doesn't have to be soy sauce it could be water it could be whatever volume uh, occupying object that you want but let's say we have like we have y quarts instead of multiplying by this term we want to uh, multiply by the inverse of the term or another way of saying that is we want to divide by the term um, it's better in my opinion it's easier to think about it in terms of multiplication and then you just flip it upside down to represent the division part of it so if we do um, well, we want to get quarts on the downstairs so that they cancel out so we know we have four quarts down here and the four quarts is of one gallon and well we do our quick unit cancellation quarts on the upstairs quarts on the downstairs leaves us only with gallons left which is what we're expecting to convert quarts to gallons so this means we will have y over 4 uh, gallons and this makes sense because um, let's say we have a lot of quarts maybe 20 quarts we'd expect a lower number of gallons because one gallon is larger so for 20 quarts um, corresponds to 5 gallons seems like a reasonable thing okay so unit cancellations like this is very useful across many different fields of big brain activities so uh yeah stay ready for this and um stay ready with the unit cancellations it's very important all right cool so the above solution is good better with some examples of conversion Cool.